It's been a minute since I've made a video talking about Spider-Man 2, and some of you may remember at the start of my channel, that was pretty much all I made content about. I was extremely excited for the game, and in the lead up to its release, I would make videos talking about any updates that Insomniac put out, I would react to the trailers, and I'd even make theory videos about who I thought would be in the game, or who I thought would be in the DLC. The game came out, and after that, we really didn't hear too much about it. Now, Insomniac got hacked back in December, which was extremely extremely tragic. It was a terrible thing that happened. I made a video about that. Then I believe in the spring we got the new game plus update along with some free skins, which I'm never going to complain about free skins. But then we really got nothing from Insomniac. And I think a lot of us were just wondering, is there going to be story DLC? After all, there are a lot of cliffhangers, definitely some loose ends that you'd like to see tied up. I just kind of was in wait and see mode. I didn't really want to waste your time with more speculations. If Insomniac has something to say, they're going to say it. We just got an update from Insomniac. It's like the first update since the new game plus update. Yeah, we're not getting anything. There's going to be literally no story DLC for Spider-Man 2. By the way, I hope you're enjoying this video so far and if you like the video be sure to like the video and if you enjoy a channel that's run by a fan who makes videos for fans talking about marvel dc star wars or similar pop culture this might be the channel to subscribe to now i'm not going to sit here and tell you that this ruins the game or anything i mean i thought it was a good game i felt that it made a lot of improvements from the first spider-man i definitely agreed with the sentiment that it didn't quite recapture that magic that the first game had this game could have used maybe some story dlc just to kind of maybe surpass the first game with the amount of content it would have. Now, I'm not sure if this was their plan all along. I don't know if maybe because they got hacked that they decided to just scrap all DLC. I do hope for the next game that they really just iron out all the kinks because I will say that Spider-Man 2 definitely had some glitches. Some glitches where I had to actually restart to a previous save point it was really uncharacteristic of Insomniac. They're just, they're known for their polish, for the TLC that they put into their games. So I do hope with the next one that they really iron out everything but i'm not gonna lie i kind of am disappointed i was looking forward to having a reason to boot up the game again and they also fixed a lot of things in the new game plus update so it would have been kind of cool to just do like a full new game plus playthrough with all the story DLC. I did say in my video where I was speculating about Spider-Man 2 DLC that Carnage just felt like a villain that's just a little bit too big for story DLC. The only reason why I had him on there was because this was a symbiote story and maybe they just wanted to contain the symbiote characters to this one game. After all, they did throw in Scream, who is another popular symbiote character. I guess maybe they're just gonna save him for the next game and probably have him with Green Goblin. Maybe even have everyone come back and do like a Sinister Six type thing. Maybe they might even have the Spider-Verse. I have no idea, but all of this is to say that pretty much does it for Spider-Man 2. I mean, there's really nothing more to talk about. I know that the game is coming out for PC. They just announced that. So if you have a PC, I definitely recommend the game. With that said, I will talk about when a sequel is announced and, and coming out or Wolverine, whatever other projects they're working on for Marvel, I am very excited for. I will probably make videos about that. Let me know in the comments, were you looking forward to story DLC for Spider-Man 2? What are your feelings about it? Do you care? Do you not care? Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And as always, my name's Eric Rosas, and I hope you all have a fantastic day.